They say, a true friend would never betray you, no matter the circumstances. But in the case of Zinaliski and Mobad, it's an irony. And this probably justifies the meaning of what Zeno said in this interview. Bad. Yeah, Mobad is my, is my guy, but I can't say he's my friend like that. I can't say he's my friend like that. The big question is, did Zeno snitch on Mobad like Mobad earlier confessed? I was Zeno not snitching. <laughs> if yes, why and how did Zinaliski betray Mobad before his death? On this video, we will find out the untold truth and the genesis of Mobad's death. Going on this whole snitching and betrayal thing, let me take you on a short ride of what is now seen as the root cause to Mobad's death relating to the Marlian music. If you must know, record labels have become a bedrock of modern-day music, and getting signed to one of the popular ones is no easy feat. Marlian Music is one of the most famous record labels in Nigeria. It was formed in 2019 by controversial street-pop artist Afiz Fashola, known as Naira Marley. Since its creation, it has signed numerous singers, creatives, and artists, with many of them emerging as proper stars in the Nigerian music industry. However, the recent controversy surrounding the death of former Marlian music signee Mobad has lifted an eyelid on some of the label's activities and management. Recall that Mobad and Zinaliski were both signed in December 2019. In the side of Zinaliski, he is arguably the most successful artist at the record label. The singer and songwriter, born on April 21, 2000, is one of the four artists the Marlian label signed in 2019, along with the recently deceased Mobad, he is regarded as one of the stalwarts of the embattled label. However, since the Mobad scandal started, Zeno has changed the name of the record label that he works with from Marlian Music to Xenonymous. In the side of Mobad's before his death, he was also signed together with Zinaliski. Though it might sound as a good news to them, but it was a kick of competition between them without out the knowledge of their boss, Naira Marley. Three years down the line, from 2019 to 2022, the relationship between Mohabd and Naira Marley went south, as the Imole crooner accused his boss of being after his life and also denied of his loyalties for the past three years. By 2022, he later left the music label, and by extension released a diss track for Naira Marley, who in turn claps back at him with a song dubbed Vowelance. From him, leaving the label since 2022, became another nightmare in his life as he was constantly bullied in and out by Sam Larry and his boys, not until September 12, 2023, when he passed away over drug overdose injection by an auxiliary nurse. The death of Mobad, the late singer, gave rise to a lot of conspiracy and controversies, asking the question who and what is really the genesis of his death and justice to prevail. It all started by canceling Naira Marley and the Marlian music. Naira Marley lost over 500,000 followers, music channels, MTV bass and Sound City, and even radio stations following the death of Nigerian singer Mobad also banned Marlian music. At the initial stage of it all, Nigerians didn't just accuse Naira Marley and Sam Larry, but also called out Zeno for being part of them. And this is because of two particular reasons. Firstly, in a viral clip online, the singer was seen on a hospital bed crying and narrating his ordeal after Naira Marley sent NDLEA after him. Mobad said he was given something to drink, and also lamented about how his colleague Zinaliski snitched on him. In tears, Mobad told the people around that he had no reason to lie and lamented how his colleague, who is still signed to Naira Marley, Zinaliski betrayed him by snitching on him. He also added that he was hit with a gun, and then told to leave after he drank the unknown substance. The second video that brought a pointing hands at Zeno was in an interview when he was questioned about the relationship with Mobad. When the host asked Zinaliski on having friends in the music industry, he responded that he doesn't have friends in the industry, as most of his friends are outside the music industry. Melody Hassan, the show host, further questioned his friendship with Mobad. Reacting to the question, Zinaliski utters that Mobad is his guy and doesn't seize him as friend. This two videos were the reason why Nigerian tried canceling him just like Naira Marley. Some were in support of the movements, while some were not, as there were some Zinaliski lovers out there. Nollywood actress Iabo, who had joined the call for justice, but took time to address the calling out of Mobad's colleague Zinaliski. Iabo, during a recent Instagram Live session, noted that Zinaliski could do very little to help Mobad, while he was allegedly being victimized, 
harassed and assaulted by Naira Marley and the Marley and record label. In some others' view, it is believed and said, if you can't beat them, you join them, and clearly this is the state of Zeno. Even without being told, you can spot fear in the eyes of Zeno. He definitely don't want to die young. Inasmuch that her speech reduced the pressure faced on Zinoliski, the fact still remains that no one was really there for Mobad. He was snitched on and betrayed by close friends and even family, talking on what led to his death and its genesis. According to the police statement on the 6th of October 2023, five suspects were ruled out. The police, according to the report, also identified and interviewed 26 critical witnesses, including family members, friends, and medical personnel whose testimonies shed light on the events leading to Mobad's death. The principal suspect is an auxiliary nurse who administered an injection believed to have triggered Mobad's fatal reactions. And this nurse was invited in by Mobad friend Spending. The police said, Prime Boy, Naira Marley and Sam Larry are also implicated in other aspects of the case. Prime Boy, which was proven to have had a physical altercation with Mobad two days before his death at a concert on the 10th of September, to administering injections by the auxiliary nurse on the 12th of September. In the aspect of his exhumation, autopsy, and toxicology tests, the results are pending for now. As for Naira Marley and Sam Larry, they both guilty for bullying. According to the police, Witnesses and videos have supported allegations of bullying, assault, and threats to Mobad's life by Naira Marley and Sam Larry, stemming from disputes over a record label contract. The police assured the public that the police remain committed to uncovering the truth and delivering justice in this high-profile case. He pledged to keep the public informed of any developments, including autopsy and toxicology reports, DPP advice, and feedback from the NDLEA. To end this video, Mobad was really not loved by his closest friends, people he called his friends. Ranging from when he was in the record label, got snitched, betrayed, to when he was an independent artist. And this, in all ramification, is the genesis and root cause to his death. So family, what's your take about this whole thing? Should the nurse and prime boy alone take the responsibility and consequences to the passing away of Mobad? What about Naramali and Samlari, who bullied him through his lifetime? Drop your comment on what you think on your opinion on the justification of the police. Remember, the autopsy is yet to be out. And why is the police not bringing it out even until now? Let's fold our hands and watch as things uncover. Do like and subscribe. Catch you in our next upload. Bye for now.